Okay. How fa okay. How familiar are you with the the very topic of non-duality? Um, I mean, what does it mean to you? This whole topic, non-duality. What does it mean? What's your understanding uh, of it? What have you learned thus far about this topic, non-duality? That it's the oneness, that it's not really, it's like the neutral space mm -hmm. of polarities. It, it's, mm -hmm. it, it's like, I feel like when you, when I hear non-duality, I feel like a groundedness, like that mm -hmm. is that which I come from or that which I am. Good, good, good. Okay, good. Now, what can you tell me about duality? That it's two. Give me more information. Good and bad, up and down, opposite. Good. Can we agree that right here, right now, you could be feeling good or you could be feeling bad? Just just for argument's sake, it could be one or the other, right? Yeah? yeah. Let's just... Good. Mm -hmm. So let's just for argument's sake say that you're feeling bad. You're feeling flat, feeling depressed. You're feeling what's life, what's it all about? What's life all about? What the hell's going on? Yeah. And you don't want to be feeling this way, true? true. If, if, the, if that's what was happening, yeah. Yes. We, we don't want to be feeling that way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So let's just play the game that that's exactly what's happening right now, okay? Because mm -hmm. it might be. It might be exactly what's happening right now. But if it's not happening right now, it has happened. And if it hasn't happened, it will happen. <laughs> Do you understand? Because life is like that, yeah? Yeah. But so just for the sake of the exercise, let's just assume that right here, right now, you're feeling like shit, okay? Excuse my French, but... I'm an Australian and that's how we speak. Right? Anyway. <laughs> so let's just, for argument's sake, say that's how you're feeling. Yeah. Now, I want you to add to that. What else could you say about that feeling? Add to it. I've just said you're feeling like shit. What else could you say? I'm feeling lost. Lost. Good. Yep. What else? Feeling... A deep, uh, deep sadness. Yeah. Deep sadness. Yeah. Yeah. Fear. Um, yes. Yeah, it would have to be fear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do together. All right. And this is going to seem very strange, but we're going to do it together. All right. Okay. Now, I'm assuming, and you can tell me otherwise, that you're sitting in some sort of a, a room there by yourself. True? Okay. Yep, no one around. No. The, only, the only live entity in that room is you sitting there, correct? Correct. Good. Okay. So what I want you to do... You know, is just I just want you to scan the room with your vision, with your eyes. I literally just want you to scan the room. Scan the room. Good. I'm glad you look behind you. Good. Look up at the ceiling. Good. Good. Look down at your torso. Look down at your body. Look down there. Yep. Good. Now I'm going to ask you to do something quite strange. I want you to look under the chair. You're sitting on a chair, yeah? On the floor. Oh, you're on the floor. I cover you down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. So you're sitting on the floor. Yeah? And you've looked behind yourself. And you've looked up. And you've looked around. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Well, In the immediate... Good. In the immediacy of right here, right now, tell me, what is there to be sad about? Have another look. Look again. 
you're right here, right? Right. You're right. Good. You're right here. Yeah. You and I, we're right here. Yes. Yeah. Look around. Keep looking. What mm -hmm. is there to be sad about in the immediacy of absolute here now? Because this is oh. where you live, right? This is where you live, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. You live you live here now, right? Yeah. Good. All right. We're going to do the same thing. I want you to have another look around. Look around again. Humor me, okay? Mm -hmm. Look around again. Look behind you. Yeah. Under anything, behind things. Yeah. We're really exploring. Mm -hmm. This is true inquiry. Good. Look back at me. Good. Now, tell me, what did you discover that you are fearful of? Nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. Yeah? In reality. In absolute. I'm talking about absolute reality. Because the reality is where you live. And where you live is here now. Now, what is it that's saying, I'm depressed, I'm experiencing deep sadness, I'm fearful, I'm whatever? What says that? The mind. <laughs> <laughs> now, all we got to do is cross-reference it and see if it's true which is exactly what I just did with you. I asked you to look around. And what you discovered is what the mind is actually saying is simply not true. Now, stop taking what it's saying to be true. Because it's simply not. You are here, right here, right now. See, we don't understand this, yeah? From where I sit, looking at you, I see absolutely zero. Nothing wrong with you. Not a thing. I just see a torso there with some beautiful brown eyes, a lovely smile. Yeah, you've got your headphones on. You look a little bit like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah? I see nothing wrong. Why is that? I can't see into here, into that mind there of yours. I can't see into there and see what it's saying. It's awful. If you had a friend, seriously, I mean this seriously, if you had a friend that spoke to you like this speaks to you, you wouldn't have them as a friend yet you embrace it you trust it it's the only thing you know the mind you embrace it if I asked you to let go of the mind you'd have a lot of difficulty doing it even though it's abusive it's abusive is it not yes like it is yeah, yeah. You wouldn't stay around somebody, a, a person that spoke to you like this, speaks to you. You wouldn't have them as a friend. Yeah? No. So here's the, here's the issue, yeah? Up till now, you've believed that this is talking to you or is talking about you up to now. That's what you've believed. That's why you would find it abusive. Yeah. Because the way it's, it's talking to you, or it's self-critical. I'll never, I'll never amount to anything. What's wrong with you? Whatever, right? I'm just making stuff up now. Yeah. But it's usually quite abusive. Mind. Yeah. And up to now, you've believed that it's all about you what it's saying but it's all about you how 
Have you actually gone looking for personal self? Have you looked? Do you know what it is? If you, haven't, if you haven't, just tell me and we'll do it together. I'm just asking, yeah? I think that I've realized, and this is why I, I feel like I found you, is that I had thought that I did. Like I thought, and I, I thought that maybe I found who I was and I was like, yeah, okay, I'm doing all this healing work. And I finally find joy right after the whole traumatic incident, like yeah. almost two and a half years after I can finally find some peace, a relief. Yeah. And then I start eating better. And then, cause I was really sick too. Um, and then I lost a lot of weight. And so then I started to kind of become more into the spiritual bypassing phase. And I think that eventually it was like, okay, then that's when the real stuff started coming up. And I was just kind of like realizing like, oh shit, like this is, um, that's not reality. And then mm. that that's when it started breaking down and I'm kind of like, well, who am I then? Like, well, where's the real me? Where, where, mm. where do I, where do I also have the authenticity and integrity if I'm holding space for others? I want to mm. make sure that I, I too, and, mm. and from a space, you know, and, and that's what's important to me. Mm. Okay, so. What's Lori? Lori, how do you pronounce your name? Lori? Lori. Lori, yeah. What, who or what's that? Mm. <laughs> that's a person it's me good what's the person what's the me what is that it's let's the... not run let's not we're not going to run on assumptions anymore okay we're going to look okay good okay what's the person what is the me what is it it's this avatar this you, body you touch the body so the me is the body, is that right? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Which part of the body is the me? Your left ear, your right big toe, your left knee, your right elbow, your stomach, the tip of your nose, your lips. Where is the me? Because if we, if you lost your right arm, would your me be any less? No. Good. It wouldn't, would it? Good. So up to now, yeah, you've believed the me is the avatar. Me is the body. Yeah. And now I'm trying to get you to identify what part of the body is the me. Where is the me located in the body? Is it in the body or is it the body, the me? Mm, it's the essence, the life force in the body. So the me is the life force in the body. Mm. Good, you're thinking, good. Yeah, good. it's... Does the me have a life force? Yes. Okay, so what you're telling me is me possesses a life force. Is that right? Mm -hmm. How many does that sound like? Me possesses a life force. Does that sound like two to you? Yes. It does, yeah. doesn't it? So that's yeah. not not that's so that's not non-dual, is it? No. No. That doesn't sound like one, does it? No. Yeah. And even saying me is the 
body or me has a body. That sounds like two also, doesn't it? Yeah. Good, 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 good. So what I'm trying to identify is what is the me? Not what its attributes are. What is the me? What is it? You've been walking around your whole life saying, me, 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 me. I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of times you've said me, as I had, right? Me, you know, me, me, me. And you're having difficulty identifying what it is. Don't you think that's odd? Like, really, that's odd, don't you think? Yeah. Give me one sec. I just saw the, the low battery come up on my laptop and realised I didn't have it plugged into the charger. And now it is. All right. So, what's the me? We're doing this together, you and I. You and I, all right? We're exploring this together, okay? Don't okay. think I'm trying to get you or get at you. Mm -hmm. or I'm totally not. We're just exploring using rationale and logic and reasoning, honesty, truth. They're mm -hmm. the things that we're using, yeah? Nothing spiritual, nothing airy-fairy, or just truth. Okay, good. So what's the me? What is it? If we come back to the body, does does it have a location in the body? The me. Because you said it was location. The, yeah, you said it was the body. Well, does it have a location in the do you experience your me in your right big toe? No. Well, that's part of the body. So the statement, the me is the body or in the body is that's not true is it the statement good yeah. do you experience the me in your right leg no you don't do you <laughs> do you experience the me in your right arm no no left arm <laughs> we, we can go through the whole body right both legs both arms torso neck lips Nose, ears, cheeks, forehead, hair. Where is this me? Where is it? I don't know. Good. <laughs> that's, that's a, <laughs> I don't that's know. A, that, that's, that's a better answer than, oh, it must be in the body somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because if you say you don't know, it's because you've understood. You looked with me just then. We looked together in relation to the me and the body. And does it have a location somewhere in the body? The me. Yeah? Okay. Then what we can do, then we can start asking ourselves the question, what is this me? What is it? Not where is it? What is it? Now, let me pose that question to you. What is the me? When you say me, what is that? Not where is that? What is that? What is it? Let the mind throw out or spit out of your mouth whatever it wants to and will challenge it. It's okay. It's okay, yeah? yeah? We'll just challenge it together. Let it throw out whatever it wants to throw out. What is this me? What is it? A personality. Good. Where is that? In the mind. Oh, it's in the mind. The personality. Oh, good. Where in the mind is the personality? Because <laughs> that's an assumption, isn't it? In the mind. Yeah. Okay. Where? A, it, I guess. It's your. It's your direct. 
It's your direct experience, right? So for you to yeah. say in the mind, you must know without a shadow of a doubt that it's in the mind. Now, do you know it's in the mind or not? Do you know from your own direct experience? Do you know? Yes or no? Let me help you. Yeah. Yes. 